I'm Juice Mason. That's Morgan Reagan. It's Deuce and Mo. We're still getting messages from people going, wait, you guys are back doing a daily show? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sackdown Sports? Yes, we are. So if you're just tuning in, yeah, you're driving around. No, we are live. And we are always staying live, even during breaks on YouTube.com slash Sackdown Sports 1140. So you could join us there like so many people from around the world. We got Dylan watching from Spain. We got people in Reno. We got LA. We got Missouri. They're worldwide because Kings fans roll deep, worldwide. and we appreciate you guys being here today. Uh, we'll get to this weird stat, a puzzling stat with the Kings offense and defense, but uh, you can always hit us up, 1-800-920-1140. Let's talk to Lorraine here. Uh, Lorraine, by the way, is De'Aaron Fox's mom who's yes! checking in. I love that she's randomly calling in. What's up, Lorraine? How are you? I'm good. What's going on? I mean, okay, I couldn't wait to ask you how you felt about your son's game last <laughs> night. Can we get a Lorraine Fox breakdown? Uh, yes. Okay. So, I you know, I was really glad that he didn't wait till the fourth quarter to play. I enjoyed that he played the whole game. So, so and so that that was exciting. Mm -hmm. And then, but the Kings had me nervous the whole game. My heart is like palpitating like the whole game like every game no matter what time the kings come on i'm gonna watch the whole game other game other teams i'll start watching and then i'll fall asleep and then they'll go to a timeout and then the timeout takes too long so when i wake up the game is over but whether the kings are losing or winning i cannot turn it off i'm like no matter what time they come on no matter how good they're playing or how bad they're playing i watch every single second of every king game well it's been fun this year i do have a question because you just mentioned something about hey you luck that he 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 did something he didn't wait till the fourth quarter he came out aggressive okay you have to be honest do you ever like text him or call him and go hey De'Aaron, you need to be more aggressive or do you just let him figure that out do you kind of keep that I separation just, i just let him figure it yeah, out yeah. Like, I, I don't even text after a loss i used to I used to text after a, even a loss, but now he's like, mm, you yeah, know, I'm not. I only text when it's light the beam. <laughs> yes, yes. Lorraine, I mean, for people that don't know too, Lorraine Fox, Hooper, all of her life, um, you know, understands the game obviously at a high level. How fun has this been for you this season, watching not only your son, but his team as well doing so so many great things this season. I have been uh, excited since, even when I was listening to you guys during the summer before the season even started. Uh, got a little nervous when they lost the first four, but we just chalked it up to, they just got to get used to playing with each other. And so when the light acts, you know, because, you know, I'm a breast cancer survivor. So they first win this year against Miami was doing my breast cancer party that Ooh. night. Wow. That was the first win. So I had to, like, pause my audience and say, <laughs> yeah. hey, guys, the Kings finally got their first <laughs> win. <laughs> That's amazing. I, uh, I, I'm i wondering for you, I mean, obviously, he's your son. But, man, I, I just uh, – we, we've been here since he was a rookie. When he was 19 years old, I've just seen the growth from him – not only as a player, but just as a person. Yeah. How different do you see your son from, as a person, from a maturity standpoint, from his first year in the NBA out of Kentucky to now? Well, I think that um, as a person, his, uh, just the, the, the maturity of, like, everything is not on me. I don't have to take it all on me. I have, uh, I've grown in my performance, but I also can, um, appreciate the teammates that I have around me. So it's not, it doesn't have to be all on me yeah. and I'm not going to make it be all on me. Now I'll take over in the time of the game when my team needs me to, but I'm not going to be, I don't want to be, I'm, I don't have to be that guy all the time. Yes. Cause I know I got, I got help around me and this is the best help that I've ever had. Oh, it is. I am. I'm going to put her on the spot. I now. was going to ask her one thing about. Okay, go. All right. I, I'm going to ask you who. But you, put your son aside. Who's Ooh. your favorite player on the Kings yeah. besides your son? <laughs> you have to pick one. Uh, of course, of course, Sabonis. Oh, okay, okay. I like. I like. 
I like Malik because we grew up with Malik sure. with AAU, and then they went to school in Kentucky together. But Malik be making me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> He does it to all of us, Lorraine. It's like, come on, Malik. Calm down, Malik. Oh, Malik, don't pass that. Oh, Malik, I saw the defender there like 20 minutes ago. Oh, my. I'm so glad. You are just like all of us. This is the most relatable conversation. Thank you so much. Wait, but Lorraine, I have one more question for you because I know a lot of our our um, Do Some podcast listeners have seen your name in the chat and they're like, wow, Lorraine Fox is here. And you know, for Do Tonight, we love breaking down the game and we try to break it down fairly. Are there ever times that we're saying things oh, okay. about your son <laughs> that you're just like, you want to come through the camera and you're like, you got, that's not true. Or like, he's not, he's doing fine. Or are you more like, yeah, no, they got a point there. No, no. Yeah, they got a point there. Okay. Like, I, I haven't heard you guys say anything that wasn't uh, correct. Like, oh. no. So I'm not just saying where, oh, my child can't do, do no wrong, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. You're such a good when you're mom. telling the truth, you're telling the truth. It doesn't matter who it is. You're the best. Well, I, <laughs> I, I'm so happy that you're able to jo enjoy the, this this Kings team and, and De'Aaron's having a fun year. Hopefully he makes the all-star team and uh, we, we hope you we see you at a game soon. All righty. Well, I have a... I have something in the works maybe in March, but Ooh. just because, you know, they're not at home in, in February, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it serves no purpose. But uh, I'm getting um, honored by um, Albia Ware in March. Great. So uh, I should be in SAC for probably about two or three days okay. in March. Okay. And I, I should also early congrats, uh, another grandbaby on the way. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Can't wait. Can't yeah. wait. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for thanks for calling us. All right, thank you. Right. Bye, Bye, Lorraine. Okay. So cool. Is she not so cool? Dude, breast cancer survivor, baller, just like calls in relatable. Are you, could you be any cooler? You, you know, whenever a parent calls in, though, you get a little nervous. Uh, you know, we, we get a lot of parents who listen to our show, we do. watch our shows. We do. It makes me nervous because, you know, you just want to, we try to be fair, but, you know, it's... The, it's their child, and you were, like, critiquing them. Facts, facts. And that's why whenever, like, obviously the, the Keegan Murray impression comes on and people are like, are you clowning him? Never. Mm. It's all in fun. Yeah. And if for some reason he ever had a problem <laughs> with it, which he wouldn't, we wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we humanize, we are fair, and I just, I love that Lorraine even had got to say that about us because that's truly like we've been critical. you needed that you needed that you no, need to feel but that i'm no but i'm always curious what a parent feels like when you are criticizing their child's game and but like like baller parents understand like they they are like hey if you're being fair fine you can break it down how you need to break it down lorraine hooper oh uh, yeah i it was great her randomly calling in that was awesome